Welcome back once again Simmers, today we're having a closer look at SimCity Build It because it's just received a new update, a very unexpected update at that. Unfortunately it doesn't really add too much into the game, but we will have a little bit of a closer look at the new features. So first of all you might be able to see the biggest change is that we've got a pumpkin on over here on the left hand side with the countdown timer. We've got 18 days to go ahead and place as many of these Halloween parks that we can. So customize your city with Halloween collector's items, limited time offer. So this update, unfortunately you can never really tell what's changed apart from when you download the game. They never really include any patch logs or anything of the sort on any forums, so that sucks. But supposedly they've changed uh, graphical optimization and all of that stuff as well. But let's go ahead and have a look at the first five buildings and that's the only new things that are really in this update. What I really do like is that they actually tell us what's new. So we've got the pumpkin to inform us of that. So first of all, oh, let's get out of here and we want to go back to parks. The spooky park. If you are seeking something spooky. Now it boosts our population by 20%. All of these have a pretty small area as well. So that's pretty nice as well. None of them take up too much space like say the opera house or something of the sort. Next up is the monster tree. Tree which will fill your dreams with nightmares boost population by 20% takes up a little bit more time or um, area then we've got the pumpkin man statue terrible pumpkin man is here to spread aura all right. now unfortunately these are just parks none of them are really all that interactive although that one actually took five keys I've noticed now the haunted mansion takes 10 keys an old witch lives in this mansion and haunts the neighbors Okay, let's go place that. Ooh. Okay. I wonder if there's going to be a witch coming out of that. And then the graveyard. 450 sim cash. The Halloween themed graveyard is here for those who dare enter. Alright, so we've dropped the graveyard down. Don't really see any ghosts around there. But look at that. The night has just fallen upon us. The lights have just come on. And this is another new thing that they did tell us about is that when the lights come on at night you will see some pretty spooky things now i'm not sure, quite sure if they mean like traffic lights are going to be really weird or what but i have been playing this a little bit and i haven't really noticed anything too strange to be quite honest i mean maybe some other youtubers um as soon as they see something a little bit spooky they'll jump out of their chairs and start screaming like you've never heard before, but to be honest, I don't really notice anything. Can't really say it's a much of a jump scare happening over here or anything of the sort. I don't really understand what's supposed to be different over here. I did have a little bit of problems actually getting this update to work. You do need to go ahead and restart this game from scratch. So just reboot your device or make sure you turn it off on, on at least the app. So don't just uh, boot it up, make sure you actually get rid of it in your memory and then um, start it up. But I don't really notice anything different at night to be quite honest, so we'll leave it at that. That's pretty much all that they've included in this little update. Definitely very small, but they do look very nice at night though, I must say, with their green, bluish tinges of uh, glow. But until next time though guys, I'll see you later, hopefully with a more substantive update than this one.